doing super well, so who's excited for Christmas? I know I am. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want for Christmas this year. Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three DIY last minute Christmas present ideas, and I've seen a lot of DIY videos for Christmas presents, so I did choose three that are different, they're really easy to make, and I know your friends would love them, so I'm just gonna get started with the first one. So for my first DIY, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really, really cute bag which I should totally have right next to me. Okay, now we are all set. So, the first DIY that I have for you guys is for this really cute tote bag, and this one has a D because I'm gonna give it to my mom and her name also starts with a D, so that's why I made that. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, and I really hope you guys enjoy. So first up on our DIYs, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute personalized tote bag. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type out the first letter of whoever's name you're going to gift this to on a word processor. And then you're going to kind of adjust the size. I settled for 425 and this is just going to be our stencil for when we paint it on the bag. So just go ahead and print it out. Okay, so for the materials, you're just going to need a plain canvas tote bag, some black acrylic or fabric paint along with your stencil, a doily, and something to paint with. I'm just using a makeup sponge because I don't have any brushes. Anyways, you're just going to grab a pair of scissors and cut out the colored part of your letter that you just printed out. And then I also taped where I cut into the letter, if that makes sense, so paint will not leak through. And then you also want the middle part because I am using a D. I need the middle part to make it look like a D, so just get rid of all the colored part of your letter and make sure you know where you're gonna place that once you put it on your bag. So, up next, you're going to want to line your bag with something, so I just stuffed it with a magazine so the paint doesn't seep through while we're painting. And then you're just going to set your doily on top, and once you've placed it right along the edge as I'm doing, you're just gonna wanna tape it down so it doesn't move while you're painting. Okay, so first up, you're going to paint the edges of our design. If that makes sense, you're just going to want to dab the paint along the edges of our doily. And I figured that the best method was to kind of dab it instead of dragging it. And once it's dried for about 45 seconds, you're just going to want to take the doily off carefully so you don't smear any paint and your design should be almost complete. So now you're going to place your letter stencil on top, like right in the middle of the design we just created. You're going to want to tape it down as well and I also taped down the middle part so it doesn't move while I'm painting and then again just dab your black paint right along the edges. So once you've carefully painted everything inside your stencil you're just going to want to wait 45 seconds once again and then peel it off while it's still kind of wet and then you're just going to let it dry and you're basically done with your personalized bag. Okay, so for our second DIY, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really, really yummy red velvet cupcake in a jar. And it's so cute, it's really portable, and it's really, really good. Like, I'm not even, I didn't expect it to turn out this yummy. I would eat it, but my dog just licked my spoon, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, I'm going to get started with our second DIY, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So to make your red velvet cupcakes, this is what you're going to need. I will have all the exact measurements in the description box down below and I will tell you as I'm adding everything in. So let's just get started. So I'm just gonna mix all of my dry ingredients together. So two and a half cups of white flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt, then two and one fourth teaspoon of cocoa powder. And then you're just going to briefly mix it together and set it aside because now we're gonna mix our wet ingredients together. So one cup of buttermilk as well as two large eggs. And then I also added in one cup of canola oil and one teaspoon of white vinegar. And then you're also supposed to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, but I totally forgot. And then with the red food coloring, this is kind of important for red velvet. You're supposed to add in two tablespoons, but I ran out. So my cupcakes ended up pink instead of red, which is kind of a fail. Anyways, now you're going to bring back your bowl with your dry ingredients and you're going to mix your wet ingredients in and just mix it with a fork until it is all mixed. So once your mix is ready, you're just going to pour it into your cupcake liners. My liners were kind of weird, so I had to set them on a cookie sheet. And then I just filled them three fourths of the way up and I put them in the oven. 
So I forgot to tell you guys earlier, but I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees right before I started preparing my mixture, so make sure you do that. And then I set my oven's timer for 17 minutes, and I left my cupcakes in there to bake. And once they were done, I took them out and let them cool while I prepared my frosting. So you're going to add in two sticks of butter as well as two packages of cream cheese and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then you're just going to mix it with an electric mixer until it's smooth and then you're going to add in four cups of powdered white sugar so then you just mix it until it has turned into a frosting so i added mine into a i have no idea what this is called but you can totally just scoop it into a ziploc bag and cut the edge off and then just frost your cupcakes in a really fancy way like i'm doing here and by the way make sure they're completely cool before you do this because if not your frosting is going to melt everywhere so after i had done my cupcakes i realized that they're not going to be very portable so how I would gift mine is by cutting the little cupcakes in half and then kind of alternating them with frosting inside of jar as I'm doing here so just add in one layer of cake one layer of frosting and then another layer of cake all the way to the top and it looks so good and it's really yummy but make sure you share it with a friend because it is pretty big so that is basically it. I guess you have two different options of how to gift yours, whether you want to give them away as little cupcakes or inside a jar, which I think is super cute. So I decorated my jar with a little bit of twine and then I added a little bow as well as a gift tag that says Merry Christmas and is super cute. And I feel like this looks like something that you bought at a store but you actually made yourself. And the best part about this is that if you don't like red velvet, you can play around with flavors and you can even play around with the colors and make like a rainbow cupcake inside this jar, which would look really cute. So that is basically it for this gift idea. So for our third DIY, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cute chalkboard-esque thing. I don't really have a name for it. Anyways, you can totally give it to your friends and write out a cute personalized message on it with chalk. And it's really cheap to make and really cute. So I'm gonna get into it and I really hope you guys enjoy it as well. For our third DIY, which is this cute little chalkboard, you're going to be needing some black acrylic paint as well as an arts and crafts piece of wood. I just got mine at Walmart. And then you're also going to need some twine or string to hang it with. So I just painted on a first layer of my matte acrylic paint. I find that you can totally buy chalkboard paint, but it's just way more expensive and does the exact same thing as this matte one. So I just painted on a first layer and I waited for it to dry and then I just painted on a second layer with the same paint and the same spot. So once your second coat of paint is completely dry, we can move on to the second step, which is to attach our twine or our string to hang our little chalkboard with. So you're just going to turn it around and I cut off approximately 24 inch string pieces and I made a double little handle just in case and I just glued it to the back of my board with a hot glue gun. So once your glue is cool, you can turn your little chalkboard around and write any type of message that you want. And I feel like this is a really cute Christmas gift because you can totally personalize it before you give it away to your friends. And it's a really fun and practical gift to have around. For this video and the three DIYs that I'm going to be showing you today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also in the comments, let me know which DIY was your favorite. If it was the personalized bag, the cupcake in a jar, or the chalkboard. And also, if you try any of these out and give it to your friends, make sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram with the hashtag Ubodu DIY Christmas. That's our hashtag. And I think that's everything I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I send a million kisses your way. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.